Is anything too hard for God? That's what we're going to be talking about on today's devotional coming up. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to the One Verse Daily Devotional. So glad that you joined me on the podcast or on YouTube. Thanks for being here. We are going to the Old Testament today, to the book of Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah. And I love Jeremiah because, one, he didn't live the easiest life. He's actually known as the weeping prophet. Some of the things he had to go through, some of the things that even God called him to do, uh, he wasn't a huge fan of. Uh, he had a rough life. And yet, the verses that you'll find out of the book of Jeremiah are some of the most life-giving, hope-filled, hope-filled verses Excuse me, in the whole entire Bible. And that's why I love this book. It is so great that it dives into kind of the dark side of life and hardship and and pain and tears that we have to go through, that we all have to go through. And yet, through this relationship with God, Jeremiah constantly encounters hope and peace and uh, amazing promises that God gives him. And so that's why I love the book of Jeremiah. And we're going to look at one of those today. Our one verse today is Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. And it says, Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Once again, we are talking about the power of of God. Earlier this week, we were looking at Ephesians chapter three and where the power of God comes from, how it is in our lives through the Holy Spirit, how it can lead to deeper faith and even lead us to be rooted and established in love. If you missed those episodes on Ephesians chapter three, verses 16, 17, and 18, I highly encourage you to go back and watch those. But Here today, we're in the Old Testament, and once again, Jeremiah references the power of God. He says, ah, sovereign Lord, God is sovereign. He's in control. Now, I can't explain why he allows some things to happen. I can't explain why there is hurt and pain in the world. I can't explain racism. I can't explain any of those things, but I do have faith that God's in control. I do have faith that there's a plan. I do have faith that we have a future. I do have faith that good is going to win the day, that love will rule the day, right? And he says, ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power. He's just establishing. This is how powerful you are, right? When, when Basically what he's saying is when our... Uh, worries, when our anxiety, when the things in our life seem so big, we have to remember that they're not as big as creating the universe, right? He says, literally, you've created the heavens and the earth by your power. Basically, he's saying, anything that I go through isn't that big, right? If you can do that, you can help me. If you can create the heavens and the earth, then you can help me in whatever I'm going through today right? He says, nothing is too hard for you. Now, here's a little bit of context to what was going on in the life of Jeremiah. Uh, the people of Israel had kind of fallen away from God. They hadn't been worshiping him. They hadn't been following him. They had been, kind of started to go their own way. And many times in the Old Testament, God would bring in outside forces to even conquer Israel or even parts of Israel like he did in the judges to kind of bring his people back in line. He would punish them just like you have to maybe give your children consequences. He would give them consequences. He would punish them not to be mean, not to be cruel, but to draw them back to himself. And this is exactly what we have going on here. God tells Jeremiah, hey, I'm sending Babylon. Maybe you've heard of Nebuchadnezzar, pretty famous name. He says, I'm sending Babylon and their leader, Nebuchadnezzar, and he's going to take over Israel. There's nothing you can do about it. Judgment is coming, 
Well, that's kind of a bad day if you're a prophet, right? That's a bad day if you're an Israelite. And yet, God has Jeremiah do something really interesting. He has him go get a witness and buy some property and then save the deed in a pot So it would last a long time. You can read about it right here in Jeremiah chapter 32. But I love this verse that he says, just two verses before our one verse today. It says, for this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says, houses, fields, and vineyards will again be bought in this land. What is he saying? He says, judgment is coming. You're going to be conquered. It's going to happen. But... Even before the punishment was carried out, God was already giving hope for the future. He says, you're going to be conquered, but I want to draw you back to me. And I'm going to prove it by Jeremiah buying a piece of property in this land. He's going to bury the deed so we can find it later. And I give you this promise that even though I'm going to have you be conquered today, that in the future, your people will possess this land again. I love that. Now, that seemed like a big deal to the people. That seemed like a hard pill to swallow. That seemed like a hard thing to comprehend. And that's where Jeremiah's response comes in. Hey, you know what? We're kind of having a a struggle here that you're going to allow us to be conquered. But you told us that we're going to come back to this land. And what's Jeremiah's response? Hey, you know what? If you created the heavens and the earth, As much as this might be hard for us to believe, hard for us to swallow, hard for us to deal with, if you made the heavens and the earth, then nothing is too hard for you. And I'm going to trust that one day we will inhabit this land again. And sure enough, that did come true, didn't it? So what do we take away from this? Well, whatever you're going through, no matter how big it seems, that God is speaking to you today, that he's telling you, hey, you know what? I created the heavens and the earth. I can take care of you. I am bigger than your problems. And so remember that. You know what? God has infinite power. He is almighty, all powerful. And so we can say in our own lives, God, nothing is too hard for you. Have a great day.